the weather's been really nice recently, and so on Saturday morning, um, I decided to visit uh, Zhongshan Guzhen, um, just to take a trip there. I'd heard it was a, a, a very pretty uh, village, so I took a car and, and arrived at the village and was enjoying it. It was really, really beautiful. Um, and I was next to the river, and then this large group of students arrived, also there just to, to, to enjoy the, the weather and the, 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 the town and the city, or the, the, the village. But then suddenly one of the students fell into the river, and there was a lot of shouting and commotion. Um, and I was next to the river, and I think we were all hoping that she could swim, but it was obvious that she couldn't swim. Um, and she was obviously in serious trouble, actually. So her friends were shouting and trying to reach her, but they, they couldn't. Um, so I didn't have any time to think. It was just all happening very quickly. But I just took my shoes off <laughs> and, and jumped into the river. Um, and the river is not very big, but um, she was just lying in the river. Um, and I, when I reached her, I was very worried because her face was in the water. I turned her over, but she, she, she didn't seem to be breathing. She was unconscious, um, so I was really, really worried. Um, but I, I started to swim towards the side, and then some of her friends on the, the river bank threw in the, a ring, you know, sort of a, a safety ring, which I, I held on to. Um, and her friends and others on the riverbank were able to pull her out of the river. But by this time, she'd started to breathe. So I was, at least I knew she was unconscious, I think, but she was breathing. So I was relieved, actually, that she was breathing. Um, and then I, I got out of the river myself. I think her friends were helping her to recover, and they took her somewhere to a nearby for her to recover. Um, and I could see that she was, you know, she was okay by then. I mean, she was obviously shocked, and it was very serious. But at least, you know, she was, she was in, she was okay. Um, so I was very wet, <laughs> uh, and the the villagers, the, the the people in the village, were very, very friendly, and they looked after me. I spent the afternoon in an, in the a village uh, house. They gave me some dry clothes, some coffee, and very, very friendly. Um, so it, was, it, it turned out a happy story, um, and I was just so pleased that the girl was okay. But um, I'm also, you know, happy to have gone to Zhongshan Guzhen and to have met the really friendly uh, and helpful and well, very kind people there. Um, but the main thing is uh, the student, the, the young student, she's fine, and I'm I'm very happy about that. She so has been in Chongqing for one month, over one month. So where? about of Chongqing have you been to what do you feel about Chongqing? Yeah. So actually um, since I've since I've arrived um, I've 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 just stayed in Chongqing because it's been a, a busy a busy time. Uh, so actually this was when I went to Zhongshan on Saturday this was my first trip outside of Chongqing. Um, but I as I've spent uh, four or five weeks now in Chongqing I'm beginning to Settle down, and uh, I can see you know the, uh, the how interesting Chongqing is a, as a place to live.